Welcome back everyone, you're watching All The Beer No Idea and the Walrus of Beer Love is back with another beer review for you. So, what we got coming up now, we've got a beer now from Belgium and it's from Browery de Havman and it's a bottle of their Straf Hendrik Triple coming in at 9%, it's a 330ml bottle like I said, coming in at 9%, I've got carried away there myself I think this was about £3.50, something like that Got it from Trembling Madness, and while I was there, I picked up the Straff Hendrick glass as well, 4 99 I think that was. Work of art, lovely piece of uh, equipment, if you like. Uh, nice label on the bottle, lovely label, and it's got a matching bottle cap there, so real nice. Uh, this is my first Straff Hendrick beer, so it's gonna be quite interesting to try. So, let's get it cracked open, get it in a glass, and see what we get. And hopefully, hopefully this one ain't gonna go go wild and burst out the top. It was thinking about it. It did rise up a little bit. So, hope you're all good. Thursday, the end of the week is nigh. It's probably closer for a lot of you guys out there than it is me, and even ladies, anyone, any women watching, if you're out there and the end of your working week. Yeah, for a lot of you, it's probably a little bit closer for you than it is me. Quite possibly, I'm working Saturday as well. Again, the joys of self-employment. Joys of self-employment. Hey ho, pays the bills, doesn't it? So, beer in a glass. Lovely, hazy amber colour. Uh, it's not. There's nothing in the bottom of this glass. It's not nucleated or anything. So there's some gentle carbonation going up. Uh, like I say, hazy amber colour, gentle carbonation. We got a big two and a half finger of. Quite spacious white head, looks like a, what does it look like? Looks like a big cotton wool bud, shall we say. But looks like a triple, looks what I expect it to look like. So, let's give it a swirl, dive in on the nose and see what we get on the aroma. Very sort of fruity for me, this is more of a fruity sort of, Triple, big fruit aromas, I would say. Nothing sort of stands out, it's like candied fruit, if you like that. Bit of yeastiness. Yeah, that's, that's about it, really. It's, it's big yeastiness and big uh, fruity notes. Sort of citrus sort of side of thing. I'm getting a little bit of citrus in there for me. So that's it for me. So let's dive in, give this beauty a go. Oh yeah, ooh, cool, that has got a real citrus bit of this in there. It's going again. Sharpness took me by surprise there. That's why my face looked like I didn't like it. Body's not as sort of heavy as I was expecting. Uh, for 9% it's, it's reasonably light to drink. Quite well carbonated. Uh, the carbonation in it, because the body is reasonably light and it's quite carbonated, it does it does take the edge off the mouthfeel. The first mouthfeel mouthful was really nice with the mouthfeel. The head was nice and big. The sort of bubbles got lost in that and didn't sort of do much to it. Now the head's gone down. It, it doesn't feel as smooth as uh, the first initial mouthful. Let's go in and get some tastes. For me, you hit with that yeastiness and then the sort of citrus fruity side of it kicks in and that bitterness follows shortly after. So you do get quite a tangy sort of bitterness to this. Yeah, it's a very sort of, love to say actually, the tangy bitterness is there. Yeasty, tangy bitterness, 
and then you get the full flavor of like the sort of like the citrus notes i'll say sort of like tangerine sort of citrus and sort of notes i'm getting from this nine percent for me is it's pretty well hidden till the back end of the mouthful you don't really sort of feel it and when all the flavor goes away you're left with sort of like a lingering sort of little bit of alcohol taste in there but it's not too overpowering it's pretty drinkable I wouldn't say it's the most drinkable triple I've ever had but it's still very decent and then would I pick it up again I would pick it up again I don't think it'd be my go-to one, but Straff Hendrick Triple coming in at 9% is a decent beer. Uh, it's enjoyable enough. Again, this is one of them sort of sippers you'll sit down and just try and sip at. It is quite bitter. It is quite tangy. It's going to appeal more to certain people. Excuse me. Uh, some people are really going to like that sort of citrus bitterness. It's not one of them things that really, ooh, pardon me again. It's not one of them sort of bitternesses that sort of works for me, myself. That's my own personal taste. But that doesn't detract from the beer. Well, it does detract from the beer for me, but the beer is still a quality beer. So uh, yeah, like I say, uh, well worth picking up, well worth trying. If you've had it before, let me know what you think. Feel free to comment. Thank you all for watching. Feel free to subscribe, and I will see you again soon on another beer review. Cheers.